My name is Alec. And we will get our resiliency and our research project from Prostate Cancer. Um, our research will be how can the re reverse of biological factors in prostate cancer cells help slow down its chronic creation. When we start proposing the internal statement of the problem, prostate cancer cells can spread faster or remain low surprises. The goal in this is to prevent and to create a treatment that will help reduce its proliferation. Before starting, we'd like to start with the background information. According to the Journal of Cancer, can According to the Journal of Cancer, prostate cancer is the second leading cause of mortality by cancer in men, specifically African Americans in their 60s. In addition to that, the National Cancer Institute said they can remain localized or metastasized in other regions of the body. The purpose of our study and significance is basically to find a way in which we can decrease the proliferation of prostate cancer cells and find an easier and effective way to basically fight and prevent the spread of, this, of the um, Cancer. It also will lead to a gateway in discovery of a solution to prostate cancer and other types of cancer. Um, the specific question and hypothesis we're trying to um, do for to is um, that can the addition of biological factors MRI, MRI 15 and MRI 16, can the addition of it and the removal of MRI 21 decrease the proliferation of prostate cancer cells? So we came up with the hypothesis that if biological factors MR51, 15, and 16, if it's added to the prostate cancer cell and remove MR21, there will be a reduction in the proliferation of prostate cancer cell. Therefore, we come up with the um we came up with the research methodology that if we use the two types of techniques, in vivo and in vitro, in vitro being we're gonna make a cell culture, and with the cell culture, we're gonna take out um prostate cancer cells and use microarrays or tumor markers basically to see the growth and proliferation of the cell and do some cell counts to judge whether it's increasing or decreasing. Also, um, the mouse model that we're going to use is a mirror mouse model and the specific one is going to be the NSG mouse which has been used in other um, prostate cancer research and with this mouse we're going to help induce the MR15 and 16 or inject them into the testicle of the mouse and with that we're going to um, use PSA, a pro prostate signaling, signaling antigen, basically, to track the tumor markers to see is it localized or is it spread into other parts of the cell. Our roles and responsibilities for this research will be to train individuals on how to handle the animal correctly, also to carefully handle and dispose biofactors, markers, and therapies. We will also use cytometric techniques, which include the three R's of animal research. The first R will be reduction, which means to minimize the number of NSG models used. The second one will be refinement, that guarantees that the mouse will be kept in good condition. And the third one, replacement, which means that basically the NSG mouse is the only model we can use. Impact and implications of this research include a breakthrough in this research might contribute to the development of easier and effective treatment for prostate cancer with higher success rates. Also, the success of this research could be a gateway for possible solutions to minimize other cancers or its failure can lead to a further research and study. And these are work cited. I hope you get well soon, Dr. M. Happy holidays. <laughs> Thank you.